So we've talked about mail, we've talked about calendar, we've talked about contacts. The next thing we're going to look at is the task list. The task list then encompasses all of these elements and allows you to manage what you need to do. And let's first of all go to the task list. If I click on the task list, you can see I have a number of tasks here. The views I have is I've got a detailed list which shows me the subject, the status, when it's due, modified, completed, if there's any particular folder or categories. I've got a more simplified list which removes some of those options. I've got just a to-do list which is just those items that are still active and I also have a prioritized list. I have a number of different options as well. I can see what's been completed, what's active, what's overdue, what's due today. So there's a number of different views available to me. I'm just going to put it as the to-do list at the moment. I'm going to add a new task. So what I need to do is I need to go and get some shopping and I need to get some potatoes, some onions, some bacon. There we go. And when do I need to do it? So what I could say, well, I've got a party going on tomorrow. So what I need to do is I actually, it's due today. I can say what priority it is. So is it low, normal, or high? And it's a high priority that I do today. I can choose to set a reminder. If I want to, I could tell myself, well, the shops are going to open at 10 o'clock, so I'm going to remind myself at 10 o'clock. And if I want to, I can also set a particular sound, so I'm just going to use the default sound as that reminder. And I'm going to click Save and Close. And there's my item there, and if I click on it, on the right-hand side, I can now see the items associated with it. Let's have a look now from my mail perspective. If I'm in my email, I have the option, remember, of seeing my task list. So in my to-do, I'm just going to put it as normal. And there now, I can see what are my tasks due for today. And there it is, get some shopping. If I had the taskbar minimized, you can see, there we go, today one tasks. If perhaps one of these emails, so for example, I've got an email here from YouTube, I actually want to look at this. So I'm going to flag this as a low priority option. So I can just click on the flag there and then suddenly it's now been added to my task list. But what I could do is I could right click on it and then actually put some additional settings. So I could say, well, do you know what? I just want to do it this week. If I want to, I could add a reminder, clear the flag, but no, it's definitely going to be due this week. If I click on it again, then what it does is it makes the task set as complete. Well, I'm going to go back and I'm going to actually say, no, no, I want to do it this week. There we go. If I go back to my task list, you can see I have a number of tasks here. And if I click on my email, I can actually read the email directly from my task list. Again, against each task, I could assign a category. Just a reminder, these are the same categories that we see in the mail, the calendar and the contacts. So these are the categories across the entire Outlook application. I can change importance of this task. So for example, I can make it a very high important task. And then if I have a look in my prioritized list, you can see that in my high priority list, is get some shopping and I've got to watch that email. So the task list is a very useful tool. It's not particularly complex, but the great thing about it is it allows you to use all the power of Outlook and every interaction which you might make with your mailbox, you can then add items to your task list, you can clear it from your task list, but also you can come direct to your task list and you can manage them here too. We're going to explore the task list in more detail as well when we're now going to the later courses for Outlook. But hopefully there's an introduction to your mail, your calendar, your contacts, and also the task list. As usual, the best thing to do, have a play.